The roof going on to this small home in Nanaimo is metal and made to last. That's the kind of thinking going into this build. Better insulation, solar-ready design, and heated floors, all of which are higher-end choices which fit nicely with a smaller footprint. And here, fit is a fitting word, as it isn't just what fits inside, but where the house itself fits, in the backyard of another. It's under a thousand square feet. Um, Mom and Dad are going to be living in this cottage. It's on an existing property with an existing home. Their son and his wife are living in the existing house. Often called a carriage house, a name that dates back to the days of horse-drawn carriages, small and detached homes like this can be good for retiring in-laws or as rental suites. Sean and Spencer of Island Red Cedar Construction feel that there is a growing market for small homes. Go on that. This allows you to have a mortgage helper on your property, whereas a lot of people would be putting in a secondary suite downstairs or upstairs in their already existing house. This way you're separated from your tenants, you're not living above each other, or if it's a granny cottage, if your parents are moving in. A little bit of separation goes a long way when you're living on the same property with someone. So, you know, in, we've all heard the horror stories about in-laws, maybe having a, a yard in between, you might help that relationship a little bit in the long run. There are more than 50 of these so-called carriage houses hidden throughout Nanaimo. Jane Sampson lives in one, built by her son-in-law Dave of Chequich Poiron Architecture. He agrees it's not the size of the home, but how well the living space is designed. We have a uh, vaulted ceiling, uh, which goes from the kitchen behind you uh, to the large windows that are behind me. And the large windows go all the way to the floor, so that helps to bring the outside in, uh, in terms of making the space feel larger. Um, as well, there are windows on every facade, which helps bring um, the light in, and some skylights in the kitchen and in the bathroom. So it's a very well-lit space, and in most times during the year, you don't even need lights on. Well-designed space is, is really the key, because you don't have a lot of room, and um, you know, Inside, probably storage, uh, making sure that there's enough storage because when people move into a place, if it's a bit smaller, they still tend to bring some of their uh, belongings with them, of course. What I have is all I need. It just makes me feel very comfortable and I, I love the feel of the house. It has a sense of calmness about it um, because of the design and uh, I love the open space concept and the large windows, all the windows actually. The city of Nanaimo made it legal to build secondary homes like this in 2009, but there are some rules in place to determine where one can be built and not every property is suitable. The properties where detached suites are allowed are, are corner lots, uh, lots which have lane access, or on larger properties where there's the opportunity to get access to the rear yard. Suites in detached buildings um, can play a really specific role in that there's places where for example, retrofitting a home to put a suite in will just not work. Even where the property is suitable for a carriage house, there is the matter of cost. After all, it is a build from the ground up. You're buying a home, you can add it onto your mortgage as you go. There are again limitations from $40,000 for adding onto your mortgage, uh, going through CMHC. Conventionally though, if you've got the equity there, it's really easy. You can access the equity in your home and just add on a line of credit or a mortgage portion to build the property and it's fairly straightforward. So you just have to get in touch with people to help you go through the process. More information and help around the city's guidelines for secondary houses is available from the Service and Resource Centre. We have a detailed brochure that talks about secondary suites both within principal dwelling and in carriage homes. Uh, we'll probably find a lot of uh, answers to your questions there. With Nanaimo's population growing, smaller quality living spaces may be a trend that grows along with it. You know, in Victoria, it's half a million dollars for a fixer upper. That's kind of demoralizing for a young person trying to get into the market. But up here, you know, you can buy yourself a really nice lot and put one of these in for a fraction of that price. So why wouldn't you? Let's, let's all move to Nanaimo. <laughs> in Nanaimo, I'm Derek Johnstone.